Kathleen Brulee was on yesterday. Uh, she was Panda. She won. If you want to check out the full interview, check out the videos, go to Global Player now. Uh, earlier, we chatted to Charlotte Church, who was Mushroom on the show. And uh, I think it's time for us to chat to Mark Fahili from Westlife, who was Robo Bunny. Mark, hello. How did you end up dressed as Robo Bunny? Yeah, so, so they presented with three, I think it was. Um, um, I seen the Robo Bunny one and I was like, whoa, that's a bit mad now. And I'm, I wouldn't have been sort of like a tech or a robot -y kind of a, a guy. <laughs> um, but all of a sudden I was like, hang on a minute though. What if like the rabbit and the robot had two different voices? And then I was like, okay, I think I could make something of this. And to me, that's really what got me excited in general. I needed something to grip onto in terms of like, right, what am I going to do with this? That's true because like at the start of some of your um, songs, you would you would sing in a particular voice and then it would switch to the voice that we kind of know you for. Well, look, I mean, like obviously part of me wanted to try and mask my voice for as, as long as possible, but it was a bit of fun, you know, that's the whole thing, you know, and I was monitoring everybody's reaction quietly online, you know, and um, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. It was it's very exciting, you know, but it's also nice that it's now oh, it's it's out over, there. You know? Just, yeah. So obviously, you have to be very secretive when you do this show, as as you and Kelly know. But what what when the boys found out, what was their what was their response? Well, I mean, this this show is such a big show with kids, so like we kind of briefly spoke about it and everything like that. I mean, the boys were like, look. <laughs> We were just wondering when you were going to tell us because like we obviously know it was you because we've stood next to you on stage for like 25 years <laughs> um but it was more like their kid they're like oh my god the kids are all going crazy and like and they're like oh because you know what kid is like if we tell like the younger ones they might be able to help themselves but like going to school and like tell them everybody and i mean you really are it's all shrouded in like contractual secrecy yeah like, yeah you're not allowed to tell yeah them. yeah so everybody was like oh i'd love to tell the kids but if we tell them and they went to school you could get like phone calls or off people very angry people in suits and stuff so you know we just kind of it, it's it's a funny one not telling people something like that you know no oh, are you gonna miss robo bunny absolutely i mean i loved it by the end of the recording which was like you know back in october november I was really, really wrecked, to be honest, because Westlife had an album out and a single out the exact same week. And then we also launched our tour and we recorded The Mass Singer. So I was ready to go home and, and like rest, you know? Um, but yeah. by the time it went on TV, that was all in the past. And I just got to sit back and watch it all unfold, you know? So I will miss, I will miss watching it on Saturday nights. And my mom was like on the phone sort of every week, like, and it was like as if I was like, Mom, I've already told you the outcome. And she still like couldn't have to get excited. <laughs> oh, oh, so sweet. Well, we loved watching you. Mark, it's been lovely chatting to you this morning. And uh, thanks for being on. Thanks, Mark. Well, thanks for having us. Yeah, and thanks to, honestly, thanks to everybody who's watched. And there's been a lot of amazing feedback and stuff. So, you know, thanks very much. And we'll see you on tour at Westlife very soon. Yes. See you soon. Take Bye. Care. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.